This battle is being brought to you by Exclusive Vodka, exclusively yours. At d.omen.com. Schmidt! Ha! Ha! I know what you're thinking. You think about me? What the fuck I think about you? Respect your shoulder, show a straight shoulder, show a straight shoulder from the holder, holder, from the holder, holder, from the holder. Respect your shoulder. What's poppin'? It's your boy Shbrrrrat! URLTV.TV Real quick, I wanna take this time out to thank all the fans, all the supporters for supporting the URL TV movement. I wanna shout out, you know what I mean, our sponsors, Exclusive Vodka. Special shout out to the sponsor of this particular battle, which is D.Omen.com. Shout out to y'all on your six year anniversary. You know, um, y'all can actually go to D.Omen.com to basically vote for who you felt won this battle because they got a poll on their website so make sure y'all go show them love you already know every Friday 5 p.m. UFF Ultimate Freestyle Friday 106 and Park log on you know what I mean we need to support so you know what I'm saying the ratings could increase and we can keep this content on the network you heard? Um, we are creating a lot a lot of positive energy for you know what I'm saying the UFF battle shout out to Kevin Durant spread, uh, expressing his interest with, you know what I'm saying, the last UFF battle against XL and Anubis, one of the best battles of the culture thus far this year. He is, he said that's his word, so, you know what I'm saying, shout out to him for, you know what I mean, always staying tuned into the movement. And, you know what I mean, we're going to keep continuing to do what we do, putting out good quality controls with, you know what I'm saying, all the battles that come from the URLTV.TV movement, and we're going to stay working. You already know, I ain't going to hold y'all up. This is Harlem vs. Harlem. Charlie Clips vs. T-Rex. Let's get it poppin'. It's your boy Shbrrrrrack. Y'all already know what it is. You can copy the format. You can copy the style, but you can't copy respect. You heard? Follow the innovators, not the imitators. And oh yeah, God is real. Live righteous, stay loyal. Your love is everything. Holla at your boy. Shbrrrrrack. Let's get it. Shbrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
You know what I'm saying? So it took a lot for me to come out, you know what I'm saying, to even do this shit. Anybody else would have said I ain't doing it and did anything else. I'm gonna do this for the culture. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna say rest in peace to Justin, man. I mean, rest in peace to Justin. I'm gonna do this for him. Grown man boss, something he gotta deal with. No matter how many of them fabricated lines he about to say, it ain't gonna equal up to this. This nigga Smack is a sucker. He got Harlem versus Harlem again. I'll be looking at Charlie Battles, I'll be like, damn, them uptown niggas are starting again. <laughs> if you put us against any other borough, I bet Harlem will win. I like this energy, I like the energy. You put us against any other borough, Harlem will win. But I'm gonna be honest, he just taking me back to the 80s because he just showing me a nigga that's pro would do anything to try to get rich. Ah. Fuck it, I'm on Clips Block with the fifth cock. Big shots, hit him from the bottom to the tip top. It's like a DM. Because his body is gonna be in box. He down to earth, that fifth will bring him down to earth like Chris Rock. Studio, graze him by the head like they did pop. Drive up, hit him again like they did pop. Silence is so quiet that you can hear a pin drop. I reload and fire again to the firing pin pop. He front, he front like he got a live set. Be my guest. Try Rex, I'ma hit him and his squad next. It's like Hurricane Harbor. I leave everybody rides wet. Extendo, if I gotta name the size of this clip, it'll be a 5X. Sig grip, Sig grip. Just in case this nigga's trick. I handle my biz quick once I get the biz. Get you a bitch trying to play tough. Nigga, you misfit your hammers in a no-fly zone. That's trick trick. No, I'ma do him, I'ma, I'ma do him. 41 hallelujah, his family, I send a body to him. I'ma cock it in pocket, put the time he threw him, no face on his body. Not even his mama knew him. I'm all about them green dollars. I never let a rookie take me out. I ain't green dollars. It seemed like his man is high. A couple shots of detox him. I clap to his head crack. That'll re-rock him. Y'all think this nigga could beat me? Y'all type wildin'. All my niggas is really gangsters and we about violence. You know that we all about it. That means we a cold bucket on his head like the ice challenge. We'll go right in his crib. Let me give y'all one of Charlie's themes. Let me give y'all one of Charlie's themes. He said, yo, I'm in Rex's crib. What a wonderful feeling. And magically, he always finds a gun in the ceiling. But right before he get to the killing, stupid nigga, your dumb ass gonna die before you get in the building. Easy. What? Yo. Yo. They good, they good? We good? I said, damn. You got hit, man. Surf. Be magic. And motherfucking con, Averb, Tay Rock, DNA, my nigga Rex, and John the motherfucking Don. Heard my nigga Ill Will couldn't get the battle tonight. Oh well, that just make me the motherfucking god. Cause besides my bro DNA, I done battled every nigga that's on this motherfucking card. This ain't about uptown versus downtown. This is simply about who weighed better. Reed Dollars whipped your ass off camera back in the days when he was way clever. And you got the nerve to compare yourself to Floyd with all of them losses? I gotta say never. But then again, the way you struggle with Reed, you might be Mayweather. <laughs> What it do, Rex? Let me talk to a nigga in your crew, Rex, cause you not the crook. If James Harden shaved his beard, you wouldn't even know how a rocket look. You been soft since pre-K. Gave him Legos, he let the block get took. I tell my shooter, Jenga, that nigga pull a piece and your whole block get shook. You mad? You mad? You mad? Over a joke I said against Tay Rock? 
Nigga, get over that before I put you in the hospital and then visit your room with that shoulder strap. I'm a ratchet parent at their kid's graduation. That mean I overclap. They'll find a cat. <laughs> joke I said against Tay Rock? Come on, Rex, you gotta get over that before I put you in the hospital, then visit your room with the shoulder strap. I'm a ratchet parent at their kid's graduation. That mean I overclap. They'll find a cap inside your gown, but they don't know where your diploma at. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, one of my lines can make an atheist say Christ. If you want to get Rex to chill, all you got to do is say ice. We'll discuss that a little. Oh, look at this family. We ain't into all that shit. I said, listen, I said, Jesus. I know. One of my lines can make an atheist say Christ. If you want to get Rex to chill, all you got to do is say ice. We'll discuss that a little later. But with these, though, I'm way nice. Give them a choice in the elevator. You want the Solange or the Ray Rice? I mean, I This champion carry? Oh, I kind of spit that backwards. Let me fix that. I got a Western named it Bayless, cause all that smart talk it'll make you skip that. And another one named Steven, cause it's a Smith that'll push your wig back. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Y'all already know. I'm so motherfucking mean with it. Let's bring that Steven A thing back and do a whole nother scheme with it. I'm like part in the interruption. But you never was that nigga in the first place. My bars loud, sound like they're around a the horn. I make the earth shake. I'll put the gun outside the line on your forehead. You'll get the first eight, but the bullet's so big, it'll take half of your wig on the first take. Then and then, then and then. You hear that right before I... Niggas. You'll get hit with so many clips, you don't know if you got shot or was watching Sports Center. They love my four bar buildups, but word is you hate the ingredients. When it's time to write, I'll be running back and whipping fours like Adrian Peterson. Oh, he don't hear me. his family van. Got all his kids jumping in his lap. His aunt kids slide to the front, even his mother getting clapped. They found him dead with red skin and his cousins on his back. Lord, I could just... You. That's why I be spitting every bar fast. Your shit up and down, Rex. When you rhyme, it remind me of a bar graph. I split you down the middle like a Philly. Or I load up and hit you with a hard jab. You gonna wake up and look like Cassidy right after the car crash. <laughs> Yo, Clips is gonna get his guys caught, like guy caught. Another nigga banging the hammer for what his guys thought. Better walk to the side or get found on the sidewalk. His people don't know why he died. They said it was God's fault. 
This punk shit that ain't what I do. I rack strap, but I clap back like Ja Rule. I've been holding a 4 5 since I was 5 2. Now I'm 5 4 with a sword off. See how I grew? Dot mob. Oh, yeah, that's my crew. We got a couple shooters, but we also carry eyes too. If you niggas try to play with us, your guys do. We pull up with them trays. We like Sonics at the drive through. Some niggas is puss and some niggas be Larry. Some get robbery phobia whenever they be wearing a jewelry. But me, I got mine out. He take it, I'm back with the nine out. With intentions on blowing his mind out. Self-made, nobody put me on my feet. Before I stop, shit, I go and pawn my piece. That's where the Zay Zay Poo Poo and all my niece. I mean, that 4 5 slowed them down. Back shot took him out. He ran from the double barrel. He took the Ricky route. Ask about Rex. I'm a monster when the blicky out. I'm going to keep shooting till I hear that click clicking sound. Born a gangster, mobster, grown man. Moxburg, Desert Eagle, they call me the bird man. I'm shooting with two hands, kneeling on one knee, clap at clips, hit the lady in 1D, 70 a gram, tell me whoever want D, Navy SEAL shooters, tell me whoever want beef, sheesh, this nigga better get his run on, my max spit fast is getting his big pun on, easy. And four months is the third nigga I gotta kill, from the, 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 the twat mob. A rap group that gotta ask Mook for permission. Them niggas not hard, 20% ass grabbing, 30% left when it got jobs, and the last 50% we look at and think they. You got mad over that line? Grow some balls, stop acting like a fucking hoe. How you get mad because I mentioned something the whole world already fucking know? You could have called my phone like a real nigga and told me how much that line was hurting you. Instead, you called goods like this nigga dead. I'm getting personal, you faggot ass nigga. You faggot ass nigga. Let me explain something to you. Personals don't make a nigga a threat. Battle rapping is about bars. Personals is when a nigga want to get decked. This your squad? Look like a bunch of niggas that'll run when I start gripping that tech. Look like a bunch of niggas that'll run when I start gripping that tech. Because if this the team coach Rex, I know it got to be a bunch of niggas that jet. Hey, yo, DNA, you see his baby moms in Queens, my nigga? You better check her. Remember, they're a bunch of niggas that jet, so they won't do nothing when Eric Decker, you see? a bar, but Rex want to get personal. Cool, I got a couple bangers in the stash. I know when you was in school, you used to be the best dancer and singer in your class. Okay, I'm lying. But I know how many times you really got robbed, and I'm not a stranger to your past. And I also know when you fuck bitches, you like to put your fingers in your ass. That's what you said. You said take the gloves off. Do what you do. I said, look. I said, yo. I said, yo. I said, Rex, you finger pop yourself, bro. And I put that on everything. You know the twin Lynn Rose from uptown? Oh, yeah, she told me everything. How you keep your face inside her ass, and when she want money, you would let it ring. And one time you put your finger in your ass, took it out, and lost your wedding ring. You nasty. I'm gonna make sure I said it right. I said, I said, that's nasty. nasty. One step away from being gay if you ask me. When you battled Verb, you were staring in Diddy eyes longer than Cassie. We both from Harlem. We both from, we both from Harlem. So come and visit Charlie so you can know where the max be. Soon as the show start, this shit with you at your dogs. That's Lassie. Hey, I heard you and your wife getting a divorce. Well, you gotta be one dumb groom and a stupid bride because you putting fingers in your ass. And she was fucking AR-16, but you made her choose a side. Hold on for a minute. I gotta dress his wife because that's his do or die. Ironic, she had an AR in her mouth, but you was the one committing suicide, Lord. <laughs> I think.
thinking. I know. Hold on. I know what y'all thinking. Hold on. I know what y'all thinking. Like, goddamn, how clips get so nice. Like, how you let Mook live your life? You stand around while your man go platinum hair. You Cisco wife. If I go in my pants. I know what you thinking. Like, how clips so nice? Like, how you let Mook live your life? You stand around while your man go platinum hair, you Cisco wife. If I dig in the pants and point the deuce, it ain't disco night. I'd hit K, they'll find shine on the roof. That's a disco light. Hold on, y'all jump, y'all jump too fast, y'all jump too fast. Hold on, it's double dutch. Hold on, hold on. I know what you thinking, like how clips get so nice, like how you let Mook live your life. When you stand around while your man go platinum hair, you Cisco wife. If I dig in the pants and point the deuce, it ain't disco night. I'd hit K and find shine on the roof, that's a disco light. I got a question for you though. How you wanna do it? You wanna get physical, nigga? Wanna go bar for bar? You my man, so let's keep it lyrical, nigga. I'm a G, that OD, let's get spiritual, nigga. I got a special K, shine, let your man know I'm a serial killer. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You claim to be a hustler. Hold on, y'all gotta keep up with me. You claim to, you claim to be a hustler. You, thanks, bro. You claim to be a hustler, like you saying you moving to P. Why Rex, P, why Rex? What you know about whipping up in that Pyrex or all night chefing in the kitchen So the fiends come for that Pyrex? You a Domino's nigga, extra cheese. Just get the Pyrex. <laughs> Oh. I said, you send daylight? I said, I said, you send daylight and Tay Rock after me. I done got them niggas. Left them on your doorstep all bloody. I done shot them niggas. Y'all wanna go to hands? We could do that. And we got them triggers. Hey, yo, get that nigga clip. Hold on, don't touch my ass. We not them niggas. <laughs> Y'all ready? Hey, yo, let me tell y'all something. This is some real grown man shit. Let me go through it. One day, one day I was driving down the street, listening to R&B and hip hop. Hold on. I'm cool with that. This is getting into my setup. It's all right. One day I was riding down the street. I'm playing R&B and hip hop. It was his man Vado on the radio. I'm like, yo, damn, yo, that shit high. It was so hot that K. Slay dropped the bomb and played it from the tip top. And I heard Vado say some shit like, I'm from the same block as Lou Sims and Charlie Clips Pops. That's the thing that made me think about who the fuck is Charlie Clips Pops. I called the old head from my block that knew about the old heads from his block. And they said, Charlie Clips Pops was the nigga that told on Lou Sims when them clips dropped. I said, damn. Let me t they told me things. They told me his name was Leon. They told me about Leon cars and Leon drinks. Told me about Leon broads and Leon minks. They said his mom's just being with her for being in Leon's space. They was ready to box her. That's how bad they wanted to get Leon spanked. It wasn't even no head detective. It was Leon case. I miss that nigga starts singing. I think Leon case. He starts singing and rapping. I think Leon's Drake. That nigga told over some punk ass 20 years. I hate that shit. My cousin Jim Ice ain't ready to tell right now when he got 18 in. I would have thought a nigga like that would tell because he was trying to make a way for his kids. Take them all out of Harlem and have it safe where they live. I mean, you can't even tell all the things that he did. But that nigga father told for free. He ain't even got to pay on a bridge. As a kid... I'm spitting grown man shit, I don't give a fuck. As a kid, I was raised not to tattletale. Before you label me a snitch, I'd rather gel. I miss my son and my wife, yeah, I'll be mad as hell. But it's consequences to your actions, you learned that as well. See, that nigga a tattletale to get out of jail. Hey, yo, Ted, I might need you to call Caesar so we could brand him. They should give him a tat, you could tell by that tattletale. You wonder why his little brother is so good in b-ball. 
They wonder why his little brother Jiggy Josh was so good in b-ball. Because his father, his father was playing ball in the streets with that D till he got picked off and then met niggas in the middle of the court and got him tipped off. I hate that shit. My cousin ain't ready to tell right now when that nigga got 18 in. His last battle out in Jersey. His last battle was out in Jersey. He mentioned Rich Porter. That's the shit that made me really high. Because Rich Porter was an official nigga. He ain't supposed to be talking about niggas that are thrill a block and get a nigga whole building locked to be real. If Rich was alive, he would have killed your pops. I hate that shit. My cousin Ice ain't ready to tell right now. And he got 18. I'm from 112th Street where some of the hardest live. I mean, this nigga Pops done got a couple of my little nigga's father's bids. So if any of them niggas start to swing on them, I don't want them to think starting shit. Because where I'm from, we fuck niggas up for what they father did. My two rounds probably wasn't the greatest. And, and being a man, let me own that. But I just wanted all the really niggas in the building to know his father is a rat, and that's a known fact. But I'm going to leave that thing alone. I'm going to close that. Now, nah, I'm joking. If we went shopping, we couldn't close that. <laughs> you know shit is bad when your sister is mad and your son got to grow up like this is my... The labeling of a snitch is a lifetime star. He'll always be in jail, Charlie, minus the bars. Grown man bars. You ready? Yeah, we I like that. I like that. I said, I told my grandmoms I don't want to get personal with Rex. And she replied, grandson, you know I fucking love you. You got the heart of a hundred lions. But sometimes, baby, you can be a little bit too fucking humble. I said, what you mean, grandma? She said, you the type to have a gun on your waist, see your enemy and wouldn't even try backing it out. If you got a chance to shoot Rex and you don't take that shot, don't bring your ass back in my house. <laughs> Hung the phone up in my face and that automatically boosted up my pride and my glory. I want to get them bars. But after that, I got to tell y'all my side of the story. <laughs> See, my real name is Charles Leon Brown III. Yes, Charlie Brown. And there's three of us. My grandfather, my pops, and me. All got a funny name, but you can still see the G in us. My grandfather died. My pops serving life, so he was forced to give the game up. I could have went the street route like him, but I chose to do this rapping thing and keep my name up. Now, unlike Dot Mob, we ain't never been pistol whipped, never been knocked out, and they never get robbed. And this ain't something I'm proud of, but my father was the leader of a group called the Lynch Mob, who's the lynch mob? Well, it was a bunch of niggas getting money. And when it was beat, they used to open niggas' faces. Now, that's all y'all gonna get from me, because I ain't about to stand up here and reopen niggas' cases. Listen, hold on. Something told me Rex was gonna call my pops a snitch. And being that this battle rap, some of y'all was gonna say that's right. Well, if my father's a snitch, how come he's the only one out of his whole crew serving life? Don't when you rat, it's to get less time, your family get relocated, you get protective custody. Well, here's the problem, y'all. My father's serving life in general population, and my family still live in Harlem, y'all. The nerve of a nigga that been knocked out and robbed before, to get some lines from these niggas, think he can make it work. I got 16 racks, and I'll give you half of that if you could provide us with paperwork. Exactly. I said, I said, I said exactly. I said, listen, listen. That's when, that, that's when you know rebuttals is fucking them up. I said, yo, I said exactly. I said exactly, Rex. I said, that's all right, that's all right, bro. I, I get it, I get it right now. Hold it down, hold it down. Come on, I said, 
I said, yo, I said, exactly. You couldn't find no skeletons in my closet. So your bitch ass tried to search where my pops live. My moms took care of me, you bitch ass nigga. You can never judge me by nothing my pops did. She took care of me and my brothers on her own. This is real rap, I ain't trying to win a Grammy. She just expects, she just escaped cancer. Fuck Rex, I'm trying to talk to Randy. My mother worked in, my mother worked in a number hole and the cops almost beat her to death. I don't think you understand me. Fuck my pops life. My moms was the real gangster of my family. situations. Nobody got nothing on me in battle rap, not even that last situation. When niggas tried to subtract my gangster, said my punches ain't add up in that math situation. I was thinking big, get him out of Cali so that won't be his last situation. I had on, I had on slippers against, I had on slippers against daylight. I had on slippers against daylight. I wasn't expecting no action for the night. I would have put my sneakers on if I knew niggas was going to turn battle rap into a fight. They surrounded math like parentheses, tried to treat him like passion of the Christ. He did his numbers, but I jumped in so they wouldn't take a fraction of his life. That's real shit. Shout out to Hoffa, because we all know how Brooklyn do. I'm from Harlem, but every time I look at you, I want to put a fist knife bullet or a foot in you. I walk through every hood on my own. I don't never need a pistol in my hand. Oh, you mad because I helped out the nigga that pistol with your man? Oh, yeah. should be mad at murder. He pissed away Mook and Mook did a song with the nigga. I wanna know, I just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna know what's wrong with you niggas. Y'all support a nigga that got robbed before. The way he got robbed, it was so awful. It remind me of Vicks. Fam rubbed on your chest and took everything cold off you, Lord. to myself like ice wildin but i heard you was outside like was popping my nigga you know me i like violence you got knocked out and woke up with als from that ice challenge god damn god damn hold on god damn god damn I said, yo, I said, yo, Lord, that was crazy. Can you please forgive me for my sins? Cause that was a crazy thing to say. When I battled dot mob niggas, I be feeling like Denzel in a crazy way. Cause against rock, I was a man on fire. And tonight y'all getting the same display. I took a flight out to Cali, hopped off and started training day. He got, they said he got game. No, he got aim. I squeezed into the muzzle burst. So many bullets. It could fill up a train car, Jesus. He got a shuttle's worth. I, I said, I feel unstoppable. I feel unstoppable with these two guns. Even Denzel know what I speak is fire. Everybody from Dot Mob are done the same way. I'm the equalizer. Let's get some. Yeah. Yo. Yo, that's it, baby. Yo.
To stand on this stage, you must be chosen. Summer Madness, the Super Bowl of MCU.